I went to a public school before this and I had no friends. I didn't really talk to anyone. But when I came here, it was like instantaneous friendship and bonds and family. All of these experiences that I've done in the school, like National Honor Society, being the president of student council, the captain of the basketball team, I think it really showed me how to lead and how to put my foot down, not literally, go for what I want and do what I want to do for myself. Not to be afraid of what everyone else might think just because I'm in a wheelchair. And it's one of the things I'm most proud about is that I have an advanced regents diploma. Common Core is just really hard. So being able to pass that, whether it was by a little bit or by a lot, was just, I was lucky for that. As a person with a disability, I feel like people who are able-bodied or don't know about the disabled community just think that we don't really have minds of our own. They always look to the person next to you and ask, oh, what's her name? I'm able to talk. I'm able to imagine things. I'm able to know what I want to do with my future. I mean, I'm just like anyone else. I either want to be a special ed teacher for the deaf or work as a speech language pathologist. I just put my deposit in for Iona, so I'm going there almost full ride. I think the drive for wanting to help people honestly came from here, from HVS. And being exposed to other people with different types of disabilities and different types of, I don't even want to say disabilities, abilities, it kind of was like, hey, I want to be that voice for them. I want to be able to help them so that they can be the best person they can be.